Well, take a look at that rig setup. Have you ever seen something set up like that before? Guys, <laughs> check this out. I needed all this gear in here to figure out exactly, like, how is this going to all operate? So I decided, you know what, I got to mock it all up first because I had to go and get the steel. And I just finished cutting the steel. I haven't finished prepping it yet. But here's the steel. And here's the two angle pieces that I cut. And uh, yeah, so I got it all measured out. Now I'm going to have to uh, figure out what's next. Well, welcome back. Yeah, this is part five. And I pretty well think this is going to be the last part. And at the end here, I'm going to show you a picture. I'm just going to draw up a little bit of a scale picture of what I'm actually doing. Because it's quite difficult to, to show exactly here what's going on. And what's inside this brain is pretty tough to get out, I'll tell you that. But first of all, this whole idea is mine. i tell you the truth. I did look at some YouTube videos. And they're all store-bought stuff. It was all stuff that people were selling. And I had all kinds of fancy mounts and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, mounts that swivel and, you know, all this kind of stuff. At the end, I'm going to go into more about exactly why I picked this uh, particular style myself. And, uh, yeah, when I'm building something, I like to build it my way. Because I really don't know whether the way that somebody else done on YouTube is the right way. And uh, for me, uh, I don't think you're going to see another one like this out there. <laughs> this is my idea, my idea only. You guys are welcome to use it if you want. But uh, you know what? Until it's up there, mounted, and uh, has survived, uh, guys, I got terrific winds up there like you wouldn't believe. So I got all these pieces here, and I have to actually just uh, fit them all in here, get it all prepped up. That's not going to be so easy. That's going to take some time. So I'll bring you back before I start ticky-tacky all the welding together. And uh, we'll see how this fits together. I think it's going to work out fine. And uh, like I say, at the end, I'll show you a little bit of a diagram. My pictures aren't that great, my drawing. But at least you'll have a better idea what I'm trying to accomplish here. Okay, so I'll bring you back when I got this all set up. Well, take a look at that right there. I got that rig all set up. Now I am not too sure if that's tilted to more or less this side or that side. It's hard to do on a beam like that. But uh, I'm going to get the tilt straightened out. But this is the setup here. I mean look at the clamps on this deal here. And we'll uh, slide this in here. And that's really square there. And I got the outside edges about the same. And there's my square in there. And uh, she looks pretty good to me. Nice and square there. And I got a clamp up at the top. And I got uh, a rig set up here. A stop at the end. And I'll just show you what that looks like there. And I got her pretty well lined up. I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, that's how I do it. I mean, there's a lot of pros looking at this going, wow, a little sketchy there, buddy. But uh, that's the best I can figure out. And I'm just going to tack that up a bit. And then we'll come back and see how she looks. Okay, I'll give you a good look at how I got this straightened out here. I, uh... What I do is I put my square down there and I I kind of sandwich it right in there, right? So it's nice and square. And I was way off there. So as you come up, you can see how it's nice and level now. It's right vertical. And what do we got at the top there, guys? Uh-oh. <laughs> Better check out this redneck engineering going here. <laughs> yeah, right over there to the door hinge. Little bit of a ratchet strap and just uh, bring it across here, hook her in and make her nice and level. So now what I'm going to do is tack it up there and what I'm going to do though is tack right here. Now I don't want to tack too much because it'll pull it down here like crazy. I'm just going to tack it here in the corner first. 
and then uh, take another look at it and then I'll put a tack right in the center at the back here because when you put a, a tack here it'll pull that down now it doesn't got to be that critical but I'm saying that's not too bad eh okay I'll bring you back after I got this thing all welded up I'm not gonna bore you with just doing you some more welding you've seen enough of my welding here and uh, we'll see how she looks guys I think it's gonna come out pretty good and I'll put the square back on it again if I can think about it and show you what it looks like after it's welded okay back to welding well I got her all set up I got her all welded and uh, I'll just show you what's going on here oh you dizzy 1969 right there okay back on track here okay I got her all welded up here like I said guys I'm no professional welder or anything like that I mean I'm just slamming her on there and uh, this is what she uh, she's all done here now the only thing I got to do is uh, I have to weld on these outriggers here and it's uh, it's going to be an easy job I'm just going to weld them on too I hope you can get a good idea of what's going on here now and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you my little drawing of what's going on here but you could see that that's pretty well it there I just got to weld that up and that's it and then I'll bring you back a little bit of a drawing and explain why I'm doing this well there's the fancy picture there and you could see here today this is what I'm going to weld on right here and here's the uh, frame standing up vertical and of course it would be uh, all bolted in the ground on that uh, post that's going in the ground now these here I haven't decided if I'm going to use aluminum 2x2 or if I'm going to go with steel I'll just have to check out the prices and see I would prefer the aluminum myself but the solar panels themselves well they'll just go across like this and there's going to be four of them as we go along and I'll bolt them from underneath I may show that I'm not too sure if I will or not but the four panels will go up on here like this and uh, it's on the uh, back side here where I got that uh, electrical panel that the, all the wiring will go in and it'll come down here now of course it'd be nice if you had a, a panel that actually tracked you know the movement of the Sun but in my little experience that I've had with solar panels over the last 20 years um, yeah the uh, it, it's nice if you could have it to track with the Sun and of course this is 45 degrees so what I did is I put mine at 45 now I'm way up here like almost 50 degrees latitude so ideally in the summer summertime you know 60 degrees or higher and like you say at 12 noon you could have it sitting right flat up right but uh, and in the winter time the Sun doesn't come up the same so 20 degrees would be better so I'm going to use with 45 I had good luck with 45 on mine now since it's a fixed panels and uh, it's pointed due south and I think this is going to work out fine and uh, what else do I have here I got these little caps I've had these for a long time they're just uh, caps you just kind of pound in and I'll put them in the ends here you know and these ends here so they're not left open and of course up at the top here as well so I think uh, I think that'll be alright like that and I'll probably have lots more solar power than I actually need right now I have a hundred watt solar panel on the uh, roof of the cabin and here I'm gonna have 400 watts so I think I'm gonna do a lot better plus I've designed it so that half from here up to the end will be two panels and from here to the end will be two it doesn't quite look like that in the drawing but it'll be two below and two above and what I found most interesting about solar panels is not so much the direction all the time but the panels getting dirty just from the rain and you know whatever so this here will be easier for me to actually clean I can clean this a lot easier as you can see the one I have now on the roof of my uh, 
my cabin. Well, that is not so easy to clean and it does make a huge difference having a clean solar panel. So this would be easier for me. I hope you guys like this idea and uh, I'll just wrap this up. Well, I hope you like that. I hope I've explained myself pretty good of what I'm trying to uh, do here. And the next time you see this, it'll be up at the camp. And I'll try to show, you know, installed and that kind of thing. I don't know if anybody wants to see that or not, but uh, yeah, if I, if I can, I'll show, you know, how I'm going to install it and everything. And I may show the uh, solar panels in the future, how I'm going to attach them to the poles. That's going to be a little bit tricky as well. And uh, that's pretty well it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and it's going to be a job getting the tractor out, putting that three-point hitch uh, auger on the back, and finding a spot up there to dig a hole without hitting a rock. Well, thanks for joining me here today. And hope you guys had as much fun watching me do this as I did doing it. You guys take care. Come back again. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Cheers, guys.